Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this DIY textured art. So I actually did two different kinds. I started with these textured vases. I thought that these would be really cool and unique and would bring some texture into my room. I also did some textured wall art that I hung above my bed and I thought that was really cool. I saw it all over Pinterest and I thought I would recreate it. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe down below to join me here on YouTube. And yeah, let's get started into this video. All right, let's get into it. So I actually found these matching canvases from Goodwill. And so I decided to paint over them. So I am using just white acrylic paint to paint over them. And then I pulled this plastic tarp over my rug and everything so that nothing would get onto my floor, obviously. So yeah, I'm just gonna lay them out here and I'm using all-purpose joint compound. I got this from Home Depot, obviously some gloves, and then I got these plastic spatulas from Home Depot as well. So yeah, all I'm gonna do is just take that compound and just put it on the canvas. It's really not that hard. You kind of just do whatever with it. And I think that's the beauty of it. It could be imperfect and it still looks amazing so yeah I just created some texture with these I didn't do any crazy designs I just went over them and yeah that is pretty much what I did I also got the sides of it so I didn't leave any part of the canvas that shows on the wall untouched All right, now onto the vases. I actually got these both from Goodwill, and so I am just gonna upcycle them. I'm gonna take some of that joint compound and I'm gonna smear it with my hands, obviously with gloves, all over these to create some like divots and like some texture on the vase itself so that it's not super smooth when I go to paint it. Um, you can leave it like this if you want to, if you cover it enough, but I decided that I wanted it to have some color and some depth, so I'm actually gonna go in and paint it after this. I did also try this using a sponge, but I felt that it works the best just using my hands and dipping it in the joint compound and smearing it on. So here's the result. It did start cracking a little bit. I think it's because I had my ceiling fan on. I would just recommend doing this outside maybe so that it dries a little bit more even, but I did end up going in and fixing the cracks. So I am gonna have to go back in with a second coat. I'm gonna wait till it like dries completely and I'm gonna go back in with a second coat and try to get the same kind of texture especially on this one i really liked how this one had turned out but this one um was giving me problems like you can see the blue now through it i primed it and everything and you can still see the blue poking through so i don't know what is going on i've had issues with these uh canvases literally the whole time so i don't know maybe it is worth it to just buy the canvases if you want it to turn out right i mean I don't know. It's kind of a waste of time if it doesn't work, but whatever. Um, I'm going to try tomorrow. It said let it dry for like, because this is still, I can still feel like this is a little bit wet underneath. So I feel like the top dried faster than the bottom. Um, so I'm going to let it dry for another day and maybe try tomorrow night to fix it. So we'll see. This one's pretty much dry for the most part. And it's actually like thinner where it's dried. Obviously, like that's, you know, science. It would be dried more if it's thinner, but I feel like maybe I'll go in with a super thin layer and try to like mimic the designs I already did. So that's my update.
So after adding the second coat, it turned out a lot better and so I left it to dry without having the ceiling fan on. But in the meantime, while it dries, I'm going to spray paint. So I'm using this like it's like a stone texture kind of spray paint i found it at home depot and i'm also taking sandpaper and i'm going to sand down all the rough edges i wanted it to be smooth but still have that texture and then i'll go in and i'll spray paint i did spray paint both faces but they actually turned out a little too dark for me so i'm actually going to go in after this and i'm going to paint over it And then while the spray paint dries, I'm just going to hang up my textured wall art. Okay, please do not come for me the way I hung this up. I called my dad, I asked for help, and I even used a level and it still came out crooked. But I don't really care because I'm about to move and I'm going to take it down anyway. So next time I will redeem myself. But look how cute it looks. I love it so much. Okay, so now I'm just gonna paint the vases. I grabbed these from Michaels. I'll put the shades up on the screen, but um, these are the paints that I used. And I just kind of mixed everything together and kind of created a concoction of the shades that I wanted. I ended up going in a little bit too dark to begin with, or it was like a little too warm tone. So you'll see I went back in and made it an even lighter shade, but I am applying it with a brush and also a sponge and I felt that the sponge made it a little bit more textured and prettier looking in my opinion so I really did prefer the sponge as the applicator. So you'll see I'm going back in with the sponge with a darker shade and I'm actually just using this to add some dimension and I'm just doing this by using a darker shade of the actual shade than I already used before, if that makes any sense. Basically I'll just go in with a darker shade than the base shade and it'll add some dimension without actually being like a dark dark color. And this last part was essential to giving it that antique rustic aged look and all I did was take some dirt from my plant and I rubbed it in and it just made it look super old. Uh, shake off the excess dirt and you're good to go but it looks super aged and antique. I love it. I do also want to mention that this was the most fun part of this whole process was just playing in dirt. I felt like I was five years old again and it was so fun. So that is how I made this DIY textured faces and the textured wall art. If you guys end up making this, make sure to tag me in the comments below and let me know how it went. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.